She is a very unique individual. To vampires, she smells absolutely fantastic. Better than any other human. She smells even better to her Edward, her designated love interest, than she does to any other vampire. Her blood is described as smelling like lavender and freesia. freesia. Her blood smells like flowers. It's, that, that's pretty special. Also, Edward can't read her mind. In almost 100 years, he has never encountered another person whose thoughts he could not hear. This makes her exciting to him. <coughs> to him. A mystery. And he only loves her more for it. No matter her claims that she is plain, Bella Swan describes herself as a very physically attractive person. Time for a quote! Instead, I was ivory skinned, without even the excuse of blue eyes or red hair. Despite the constant sunshine, I had always been slender, but soft somehow. My skin could be pretty. It was very clear, almost translucent looking. But it all depended on color. I had no color here. Twilight PDF, page 7. Her skin is ivory, clear, and almost translucent. These are very, very favorable ways of describing skin. I think translucent is kind of gross. My skin is translucent sometimes. Uh, but this, this is a vampire novel, so I consider it praise. She has no acne or freckles. Her skin is flawless. Meyer tries to balance this by calling her skin sallow, unhealthy, and pallid. But by then, the damage has already been done. Our very first impression was ivory, an idealistic term. And that's the one with which the picture was painted. Slender is a nice way of saying skinny, which is something Western society praises. Being soft is equated as, uh, to being very feminine. Also, check out this quote. Edward's brow creased angrily for a moment, then smoothed as his eyes took on a knowing look. You don't see yourself very clearly, you know. I'll admit, you're dead on about the bad things, he chuckled blackly. <laughs> but you didn't hear what every human male in this school was thinking on your first day. Twilight PDF, page 108. And that brings us to our next point. When she moves to Forks, all the boys instantly fall in love with her. She has no less than three guys ask her to the spring dance. This is totally unrealistic. In real life, girls feel lucky if they have just one guy ask them. Instead of feeling flattered, Bella is annoyed, as if she gets this kind of attention all the time. Meyer has said that this is based on her experience in college, when, suddenly, all the guys flock to her. But she attended a college I've heard is well known for being the type of school girls go to when they want to major in finding a husband. I'm just saying. Perhaps her sp experience was a bit biased. Similarly, all the characters adore her, not just the boys. If they hate her, it's for no reason she can control. All the girls want to be friends with her, except for that blonde bitch Lauren, who's just jealous that Tyler likes Bella. It doesn't matter how she treats them, how much she blows them off or is rude to them. Her friends keep going out of their way to include her in their activities. It doesn't matter that she regards Eric as the nerdy chess club type, or thinks of Mike as a loyal dog. It doesn't matter that she's clearly using B Jacob on the beach by flirting the information out of him. Edward Cullen has never loved another girl in his entire undead life, despite being over 100 years old. In fact, he's never even so much as looked at another girl in all that time. He exists only for Bella, as if he were made for her. Because he was.